Today on The Dirty Shop, we're making super simple DIY, extra awesome line casting baskets so you don't get tangled up. All right, here we go on this project. Uh, as you saw from the intro, we're building casting baskets uh, for my boat or for surf fishing. And the basic premise is you just don't want your feet uh, the line to pile up around your feet and get tangled. These are nice when you're wading in a river. They're essentially, I mean, you just basically have to have one if you're surf fishing, because those waves push the, the line down around your feet. You just, you're just you just tangled all the time. And uh, also for my boat, uh, I don't have a lot of foot space in my boat that's not, that doesn't have random things down there to, to tangle it up. I don't have a lot of room to put in some casting cans because people have basically the same arrangement, but it's a trash can and you just feed line into that. And those are nice, but I just don't have room for it. So these will be able to strap to your hip and uh, you'll be able, you just basically carry them around the boat with you. So to start this project out, I've got some local beer, Sierra Nevada. Yes, I live on the East Coast and there's a Sierra Nevada brewery in Asheville, which is awesome because now I have Sierra Nevada on both sides of the country. Um, so we're gonna start out with this and this is like the, the classic quintessential IPA for for me. It's just uh, I even like the color Okay, so this is this is a fairly simple project We're gonna take these baskets that I found these are mainstays. I picked them up at Walmart uh, It says uh, flex closet shelf bin right there. So uh, I, I just went into Walmart looking for a potential tub to use and I found these and the nice thing is is that they're flexible right as it says in the name and so when I have this on my hip with a belt it'll kind of conform to my hip as opposed to being this random block it'll you can actually strap it on it won't be uncomfortable to wear uh, as opposed to, to a hard bucket that would be hard um, also if I kick it or step on it or something it seems like it's more likely to survive uh, and not just break. So I've got two of those. I want, I want to have two baskets so I can have somebody else fishing with me on my boat. I've got some quarter inch fender washers. Uh, I'm going to need a dozen of those. I've got some quarter inch by one inch stainless steel Phillips head screws. And then I've got some quarter inch white PEX tubing. Uh, I picked up all the bolts and hardware and this at the, at the Lowe's. And then I picked up uh, these at Walmart, of course. Tools I'm going to need something to measure with something to mark with, something to cut with, and uh, something to punch holes in my buckets for these screws to go through. I've got a leather punch, a uh, leather hole punch, because I'd rather not drill holes in this, although I may end up doing that depending on how hard it is, but I, the nice thing with a leather punch is it punches a nice round hole with clean edges. So, uh, you, uh, there'll probably be other things that I need for this, but we'll find out those as we go along. So the idea is, I think I want six different, in the bottom of these tubs, I want six different, um, line things, or maybe five, All right? So maybe you don't need a lot of them. You just need enough to keep the line from bunching up. Um, so maybe we'll start with five. And my idea here is, this may not work, is I'm gonna take and mark these off at six or seven inches, All right? And of course, this is the only measuring thing I could find easily. So I'm gonna mark that at six inches. And then I'm going to take my chopping board here, cutting block board, and I'm, this is just a big knife I made years ago. It's a wonderful knife, and it should cut through this pex really cleanly, like that, nice and easy. You want this to be as square as possible because if it's not square, um, if you don't make your cut nice and straight, it will end up being the the the. Uh, prongs out of the bottom of the bucket will not be straight up and down, they'll be angled. So I'm just going to kind of trim this until it looks straight to me. Okay. That's pretty good. All right, so that's one. And this should make a pair of them. Because the idea is to do this. We'll mark the center of it. I don't actually need to mark the center of it. I'm gonna mark, let's see here, two inches up and then two inches up. Okay, so I've got to mark it two inches on each side and I'm hoping that I can cut this at an angle. This may not work. This is a, definitely an experiment here, but.
All right, not so bad. We'll just have to clean those up on the belt sander. All right, moving along here. I got all these trimmed down and ready to go. And I'm not sure that the points on these are even necessary. Uh, I put them on there uh, because it looks cool maybe, uh, but I, I, it, maybe it helps with the flow of the line coming off the buckets, but it's probably not even necessary. So just be aware if you don't want to deal with that, it's like half the time of this project is probably cutting those points and getting them up. But there they are, I got them all. Now I have to mark out, I'm gonna go with five points in each bucket. So there's gonna be one in the middle, and then I'm gonna make just a pattern of them in the corners like that. So, I need to go into this bucket and mark out five spots. All right, I've got my holes marked there. Um, and I got my leather and my block under here. I'm not sure if this table is stout enough to cut these on, but it shouldn't be too hard to, to cut them. So, um, the hole punch is just the, the tool here. And that's the biggest head I've got on it, which is like 3 16 So, my screws are going to be a little tight in it, but I'm just going to put it over my, my mark. And, not quite. A little dirt on my hammer. There it is. So there's one hole. Okay, I have my five holes in here, and I'm sure you could use like a quarter inch drill bit. It would probably work just as well. Uh, I think that this rubber, this material is going to be fairly durable, so I'm not too worried about it cracking. Uh, I've had a drill bit crack. Harder plastics will crack sometimes with a drill bit, but this is pretty soft. So now I'm just going to take one of my quarter inch by one inch screws and one of my washers. We're going to put it there. And I've got my, my screw gun. And I'm gonna set this pretty light because I don't want it to, there's the, the clutch on here. I'm setting it fairly light because I don't want it to strip my threads out or my parts out. And then we're just gonna screw the two together. So these threads on these quarter inch screws will bite into this plastic, like that. And so we're just gonna put this on the other side and screw the whole thing together. Um, you could put some glue in here if you want to, but uh, I think it'll hold up without it. And if it gets loose again, I can always redo it with some glue. So we're gonna do this. And and even these big washers here may not be strictly necessary, but I just figured it would help. It might help to really put a washer on both sides, but there's one, right? I think that's gonna work fairly well. So we'll do my camera cut off there for some reason. I'm not sure what happened, but uh, I've got my parts attached there and I've cut the couple of holes along this front edge here, just a couple holes there and there so that the water that gets in this tub, it will collect around this groove around the outside and then it will drip out of those on the side. So when I wear this, it should be a good spot to drain. It may, when I, when I have this on, it looks like it slopes towards my body a little bit. So we'll see if those work, but um, if not, we'll cut some different holes. The last thing we need to do to this is put some belt loops in there. And then we're gonna put a, a couple of belt loops on, uh, just notches for the belt to go through, right in this area here. So I'm just gonna take this, and I'm gonna go about an inch and a half maybe from that line, and then draw a line here. It's at least two inches. There it is. I'm done. All right, now the belt should just feed through these here. Um, and you could probably use, you know, like obviously any belts you want, as long as it fits in your notches. There we go. So let's do that. Now let's give this a try. Over here. See me. Yes, all right. Lighting is always an issue for me because for some reason I have not yet built good lighting for my videos, but um, there it is. A little much tighter. Yeah. I, I am wearing shorts and slippers. So, party on top. Wait, wait, no, is it business on top, party on the bottom? Yeah. So, yeah, that's gonna work about right. It's, those drain holes look like they're gonna hang down properly. And then, uh, obviously, you, if you make the belt a little looser, you can have this down a little lower, but I think that this will be a, a pretty good spot. These, the angles on these baths, I couldn't have asked for a much better bucket. It's pretty sweet. So uh, let me see if I got a fly rod floating around. 
All right, I got the basket strapped on here. It fits pretty nicely. I can kind of push it down a little on my hip and the angle is pretty good. Now I should be able to feed into this and uh, cast. So I've already got my line out. I've got my L3 rods, which I love. Uh, as a loaner from a buddy of mine, he may never get it back. But uh, you just feed the, you feed the line into the basket like you're fishing and then uh, should be able to cast out of the basket without getting too tangled. And it works really well. Uh, so pretty happy with that. Thanks for watching and uh, hit that like and subscribe if you're digging my videos and I'll see you next time on uh, Dirty Shop. If you wanna see this in action, uh, you'll have to check out my other channel out there, Fishing and Prospecting. And when I get out fishing, I'll, uh, I'll be trying these on my boat. See you next time.